Medi Rice with the operation and immediate effects of AC electrical arc generators for aesthetic purposes. Since the use of electrical arcs sometimes seems quite daunting at the very beginning, this video will guide you through the basics in the operation of voltaic arc for aesthetic applications. So the main purpose of the experiments you're about to watch is for you to learn the basic principles so that with enough practice you will gain the confidence you require to then start to apply these basic principles for aesthetic purposes. For convenience, the test subjects are chicken wings, beef steaks, and chicken legs found at any local butcher. As you will see in this video, the carbonization effects of AC electrical arcing, or also referred to as plasma, are dependent on three main factors how long the arc has been applied for at any point, the power output of the specific device you're using, when the voltaic arc is applied in spray mode, the speed of movement of the electrode while the arc takes place. In this video, we will show you the basics of the spot operation and the spray operation. These two modalities of operation are the two fundamental ways of using voltaic arc for aesthetic purposes. For the purposes of the type of device we're using in this demonstration and these of operation, if you're right-handed, grab the device as if it is a large pen in this way. This way, if you're left-handed. Position the bottom of your palm on a stable surface, be it the forehead of your client or any other hard or stable surface available on your client's body. This will allow you the maximum degree of control of operation by simply moving your wrist in this way. Often, during the first attempt on using an electrical arc generator, people tend to touch the skin or surface with the tip of the electrode. As you can see, at very low power, this has no or very little effect on the test meat or the skin. The best way to practice and learn how to generate the arc with this particular device is to increase the power setting of the device and slowly moving the tip of the electrode closer to the surface until the arc takes place. This exercise will help you familiarize with the way voltaic arcs are initiated. With this portable device operated at minimum power, there is very little effect if the tip of the electrode touches the working surface or the skin. Generally, in order to generate the arc, the electrode has to be kept at a minimum distance from the skin before the arc takes place. With this battery operated device, when set at very low power and the electrode touches the skin or any other surface, the arc extinguishes and there will be little effects on the skin or the soft tissue, such as mole or benign skin lesion. Exercise on how to generate the electric arc or spark. For the sake of this exercise, set the equipment power setting at a high enough level so that it is easy for you to generate the arc. Then slowly decrease the distance between the tip of the electrode and the surface. While you are slowly decreasing the distance, at a certain point the spark will take place. In order to extinguish the arc, simply increase the distance again. You will notice that the higher the power setting of the device, the wider the minimum distance required to generate the arc. Conversely, the lower the power setting, the closer the tip of the electrode needs to be in order to start generating the spark. The following experiment is meant for you to understand why, with this particular portable device, it is recommended to place the other hand on the client's body while you are applying the AC voltaic arc. With this particular battery power device, in this experiment, set the output power at maximum level. Start trying to generate the arc, but keep the other hand away from the meat. Now, as the arc is generated, touch the meat with the other hand. Notice how the arc increases in power as you touch the meat with the other hand. Conversely, the power is much lower when you do not touch the meat with the other hand. This is because when you touch the meat with the other hand, the high frequency current has an extra low resistant path to earth, which decreases the overall resistance it encounters, therefore increasing the power of the arc 
and hence the carbonization effects. Practice of the spot mode or spot operation. This mode of operation is mainly used for skin tightening for aesthetic purposes. Now that we have practiced a fundamental exercise which allows to generate voltaic arcs, we can start practicing the simplest of the methods used in aesthetics, the spot operation. This type of operation is normally used for skin tightening. Please note that other methods are also suitable for the same applications. However, the spot operation is generally very effective and easy to use for skin tightening purposes. Because this is only an exercise, in order to familiarize with this technique, set the equipment at any given power level which allows you ease of operation. In this video, we have used the highest possible power setting to demonstrate the principle. When you will be applying the spot mode or spot operation for aesthetic purposes, the power levels will generally be far lower. First of all, apply very short bursts in different areas as shown here. Stop and look at the effects on the chicken skin. As you will see, the effects on the chicken skin are hardly noticeable. Then move to another area and apply the arc for approximately one second, two seconds, three seconds, six seconds, and finally, 10 seconds. Observe the effects. So now, as you can see, the longer you keep the arc on, the more the carbonization effects at each spot. So the longer the arc is applied, the larger and deeper the effects of the voltaic arc. So with this exercise, we have learned how the carbonization or ablation effects are directly dependent on the duration of the exposure to the arc. Practice of the spray mode or spray operation. This mode of operation is preferred in aesthetics for thermabrasion for tattoo removal, brown and H spots removal, mild thermapeeling for localized skin tightening, benign moles and benign skin lesions removal, and more. For ease of this exercise, the first time you practice this spray mode operation, set the equipment at maximum power and as soon as the spark is generated while keeping the electrode at constant distance from the surface of the chicken skin or meat, make a sweeping movement while keeping the arc on. The power will be set high only for this exercise to allow you ease of practice. As you gain confidence at high power levels, then practice a lower power levels, down to the minimum settings. Normally, the power levels used for aesthetic treatments, with exception for mole removal by using voltaic arc, are very low. In this last exercise, you will see that by increasing or decreasing the speed of the sweeping movement, the carbonization effects vary, even if the power setting of the equipment remains unchanged. What you will notice is that the higher your sweeping speed, the more superficial the carbonization effects, whereas as the sweeping speed decreases, the carbonization effects penetrate deeper into the skin of the chicken or meat surface. In order to later move to utilizing voltaic arcs for aesthetics applications, practice the spray mode on your own by using all the different power levels and spend some time practicing and having fun drawing whatever you wish on the meat. As you have seen in this video, the effects produced by the electric arc are directly related to the way the equipment is used and the arc applied. In aesthetic treatments, 
The final results will be dependent on the way you perform each procedure. Therefore, if you purchased a voltaic arc generator for aesthetic purposes, the best advice is to start practicing as shown in this video. Practice makes it perfect, and there is nothing called as too much practice. So repeat all these exercises on your own and have fun. Thank you for watching.